Welcome to the Music Stories. I'm your girl, Maggie Joy Blessings. It's been a minute since we last saw each other. I'm glad you people are always tuning in. Thank you for the questions. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the corrections. We don't take it for granted. Thank you so much for being here. And today we have a wonderful woman of God. And hey, hey, she's loaded. She comes in this size. But Aki Guru Mauku. <laughs> so, Karibun Sana, don't go there. Introduce yourself to our viewers. Uh, na shukuru sana kwa nafasi nyingine. Mm. I thank God for everything that he has done for me, Maggie. Uh-huh. And I don't, don't take it for granted. Even to be in this place, uh. I thank God. Yes. That's taken the hand of God uh-uh. to be in this place. Hallelujah. Actually, it has been a long, long, <laughs> long, long day. <laughs> yes. Let but, them know uh, your names. I'm Matilda Bosiborio Bocha. Uh-huh. Um, I'm celebrating my 40 years. Four? In October. 40. 40. I'm no, not no, 13. <laughs> 40 years. Yeah, now I'm born in my two baby. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a single mom. Wow. Yeah, that's one son. Mm. Uh, I'm going to mm. At least I'm going to form four. Form four? Yeah. Pause. What do you say? 40. Mm-hmm. Do you have form four? When you're in a car? Able to pay it. What are you eating? <laughs> ah, nilijifunza kukula Yesu. Eh? Mm, katika hii safari na mm. neno na maombi kwa sababu neema mm. kitosha. Mm. Magi you can never complain when you in Jesus Christ. Matilda Obuja Bosiboli. Yes. When ni mzaliwa wapi? Ah, kuzaliwa nimezaliwa Kisi. Mm. Lakini katika hali nilipita katikati pale. Mm. Mamangu being a firstborn, mm. walikimbilia na kurumolo. Omolo. And uh, kusubabia mambo mengi alio tendeka katikati. Mm. Na wakaona wakimbie because it was mm. not a, 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 a ile environment ilikuwa conducive. Mm. So kulelewa ni melelewa molo. Molo. Mm-hmm. Ah. Hapo tuta. Wewe ndi mzaliwa wa kwanza? Ndi mzaliwa kwanza kwa nyumba mm. watoto tisa lakini mmoja alituwacha tumibaki nani? Tisa. Ndiyo. Hey, kwa hivyo watu walianza kuvunja rekodi kule kwenye. Na kuambia. Maisha ya mekuaje kulelewa watoto tisa. Ta. Mama na baba wapo? Wapo. Hmm. Tena baba ni kijana na mama. Eh. Hey. Hmm. Wako tu na mwili nzuri kama hiyo. Kabisa hata kitembo utasema ni, ba, ni kijana and I think tena narudi kutembea. <laughs> <laughs> so how has it been? Maisha imekuwa haja. Okay. Life has not has been good. Hmm. I cannot complain. Hmm. But uh, there is no life without challenges too. Yes, share with us the challenges. <laughs> Why do you want to start with the challenges? <laughs> Let's start with the good things. Yo, did you? Is it good? Is it talk about? Okay. Bilo meski ani lizali wani kwa nikisi. I'm the firstborn. No, I'm not the not the firstborn. The firstborn died. Yes. So, but the physically, the one who are alive, I'm the one who's firstborn. Yes. And uh, a lot of things happened to my life. Yes. And uh, I think you know me well. You've been mm. seeing me even walking. Mm. Uh, the devil alin hits mm. katika hali ya magonjo. Yes. Na wakati mdogo, mm. mama kinipeleka kwenye clinic. Mm. I think pale ndo nileza kutungwa shindani ya polio. Mm. Ika poza mgu wa oh. the right. Mm. 
ikaribu the patella bone na mm. the nerve so mm. the nerve ka paralyzed by the time sasa madhe anakuja kugundua mm. what is going on mm. na just so metamba ana ana copy mm. so ile katika hali ya kutaka kutembea na anashangaa mtoto anatembea namna gani kwa ana amedungwa kuna shida so akajaribu hapa na pale hospitali mm. mm. kashindikana ikashindikana lakini tushukuru Mungu kwa sababu mm. aliendelea kunipa uhai mm. So katika ile hali pia nikapitia ma, 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 magonjwa mengi tu magi. Mm. Yaani ya kwamba hata nilikuwa na another growth on the heart. Growth as you can see you can see even like it. Najua yes. daktari wa zamani si mm. sayuki shono you are mm. very clean. Naisha. Lakini ya zamani lazima mm. inakuachia la maflani mm. so at least even you can see. Mm. So it was a, it was not easy for my parents especially yes. to the side of my mom. Yes. Because uh, it was like an omen. Mm, bado mimi babangu ni mchuni wa kwanza kwao mm. sasa ameoa msichana mm. ameenda kuleta mtoto mm. hawajawahi kuwa na kaburi kwao mm. kaburi ya kwanza imeingia oh. wa pili ndio huyu mimi mm. na kaa vile nafanana mm. watatu wakaaga tena oh, so Jesus. let us relate with that story of the mm. bible yenye nasema ati kwamba nasema kama mtu sio za matunda ukatwe na utupo mm. so i think that was the situation in my mom mm. even they were even dialoging mm. walikuwa na dialogue mm. from the side of the father yes. mama warudishwe mama ameleta nini mm. hatuwezi mzuri by the way it was said mm. i had my mom tells me that the guka used to say that uh, kwangu akujoi kuwa na kaburi mm. na mtu ambaye uzai matunda si unatupangwa mm. i don't see anything good in you mm. but i thank god who just stood with my mom mm. by giving her favor mm. to the side of the mother of my dad mm. So mama mama ya baba alisimama na mamangu sana yes. na alimpenda. Mm. Lakini katika ile hali because I think the devil alikuwa amejua the kind of a person I'll become. Mm. Uh, katika ile hali nilipitishwa katika madhabahu mengi. Mm. When you are looking for a solution because sasa mamangu amepita mahali ambapo ajielewi. Mm. So katika maisha yangu nilipitishwa katika madhabahu mabaya. Nilipelekwa mpaka kwa waganga. Hayo yote. Mm. Ukatafuta tu solution. Ukachari. Niko nazo. <laughs> Chale ziko mami. So lakini hakupata <laughs> solution. Mm. Lakini katika safari kiendelea mtoto wa pili tatu wakati sasa my second born ambaye sasa katika kuzaliwa ni wa nne. Mm. Lakini sasa kwa sababu anaishi na mwita wa pili. Mm. Uh, ika hapa napo katikati mama kaaga mama ya baba. Mm so akaitwa jina ya mama ya baba mm, mm. so i think it brought a smile mm. to the family mm. baba kampenda mambo mm. yakaendelea so licha nina magonjwa yangu mengi yananisunguza mm. lakini unaangalia kwamba hapa pengine mm. kuna mungu alileta faraja yeah. because msichana amezaliwa hajawahi gonjeka yeye mm. nikabonge mm. but uh, maisha yakaendelea mm. so solution ilitafutwa katika kila hali. Mm. And uh, ilikosekana. Ilikosekana. But uli, uli, lakini ni iko hai, si kufa. Yes. Nikaendelea. Mm. Mgundio huo najaribu kwenda shule. Sasa nimeanza kwenda shuleni. Yeah. I'm limping na mm. chichema. Mm. Lakini nilijaribu. Mm. Lakini Uweza katika ile hali kusa. katika ile hali mm. nikakuja nikapata magia kwamba masomo yalinivuta nyuma mm. maana huo mguu kuna wakati ungefika unafura mm. singeza kukanyanga chini mm. so i used to my, li- my entire life of that period mm. i think mpaka wakati nilifanya operation hiyo mm. shida ilikuja ikapungua mguu uko unafura in a way that hata nikiweza kuguza hata nguo ingeniguza mm. the pain siwezi kanyanga chini kana nikiamka kwa kitanda ni hapo mm. so nikipeleka hospitali ni physiotherapy kutoa madawa Mm. syringes mm. kudunga nilipitia vitu mingi yes. watoa yale maji mm. at least mguweze kupungua yeah. kuchomwa mm. lakini Mungu ni huruma mm. kwa upendo yeah. niliyapita yote yeah. then when i was around 13 14 years mm. i suffered from meningitis mm. before it was known mm. actually it was like malaria nilifunga tu shule vizuri from boarding school mm tumeenda nyumbani it was an mm. april eh, vacation yes. mm. but uh, i started we behaving weird kumbe marele nilikula without even knowing so i used to complain the head mm. but no one could mama dada kanipeleka hapa na pale usaidizi mm. ndio hiyo bado mm. and uh, katika ile hali mm. akili ilienda 
ukachizi ilichizi chii ilitesa wazazi oh no mimi mwenyewe ilikuwa mbaya ile ilikuwa mbaya ile azin mm. i could nikitukia kama ni masaa ya mchana wakati unatafuta kivuli mm. mimi nataka jua na ningechukua kwa shamba ninaenda na kota na bucket mchanga mm. na kuja naleta kwa kwa meza okay now these are stories i'm being told yes. what could happen mm. what happened because sasa mimi nimeenda sasa fiko so the moment nilienda ikafika mahali kwa so was mm. i went conscious Oh people thought I have gone. Umekufa. Baadhi ya tafute watu wanikaidia kunibeba hospitalini atwezi beba maiti. Oh yes. Atwezi beba we jipange. Pikipiki oh. haikuna mwenye alinikubali. Mm. So baadhi ya kangangana akanibeba. Kai. Kapata msamalia mwema. Mm. Hapo ndo nikafika hospitali but mm. now I'm gone. Mm. So watu waliongea tena mengi. Mm. Okay my then my mom was doing very well in business. Mhm. Uh-huh. Dad was a teacher. Mm. So katika ile hali ile mafanikio katika biashara Mungu tuame kubariki. Mm. People interpreted that. My mama amenyuza kwa masoni. Oh. So that is the Hapo tena hiyo ni shida nyingine. Remember my mom by then was born again from mm. charismatic mm. from Catholic. Sisi tumelewa Catholic wote. Yes. Mm. Now me nimefanya everything in Catholic. Mm. Kama at, sasa kitu kupewa kati katika hiyo kipindi. Mm. Sacrament ya ndoa mm. lakini ya wafu mm. father alikuja kani <laughs> baka ya wafu walikuja yote oh, the you had known i've gone oh lord so it happened that uh, natibiwa hapa na pale it was it actually nilikula nitumia hela za mama sana na baba mm. mm. until daktari uh, alikuwa kama la kapema pale chukweni mzigo wenu mm. so mama could even go cry so unajua mm. hospitali nyingi ziko na cemetery so mom could go even to the kaburi analia tu maombie na mungu wake mm. lakini kafika mali wakapema hapana chukweni mtoto mtoe hapa molo peleke na kuru mm. alipeleka kwa wajit memorial mm. i think that's where i took i was taken mm. pale kwa pale nililazwa kwa kitanda fulani mm. so these are stories i'm being told what 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 went on and it took a long span of months eh? yes. so remember i'm not talking bila umenigeuza vile umeweka hiki kombe hivyo ni naka mpaka mm-hmm. urudi unigeuze mm-hmm. usiponigeuza unajua bed sauce nazo mm-hmm. so lazima ilikuwa hiyo hali mm-hmm. so nikakaa pale hivi kufika na kuru nipele kwa ICU mm-hmm. nikawekwa zile tubes na kila kitu so actually knew I'm dead mm-hmm. and before ni toke transport kutoka pale moro mpaka na kuru ambulance zilinyimwa and the only person who came for my rescue is a brother to my dad mm. alikuwa hapa Nairobi mm. alikuja ndio mm. akanichukua na alipo instructions kali sana mm. work sure umempeleka within some this minute mm. lakini ukifika kwa bamba mali kuna mawe pot hole wapi potea mm. juu kiruka tu kidogo ameenda mm. sasa mm. because amebakisha kadogo so but mungu alinipisha mm. nikapelekwa nikae kwa ICU mm. ajua wangu nilikaa pale Mm. Kitanda nimeliwekwa next. Sasa they are treating me they don't know it's meningitis by the way. Oh, they are just treating. Because it, no, nothing inaleta kwa result. Mm. They don't know what's the problem. Mm. But my dawa sasa nilikuwa ninisiliwa nyingi ni za malaria na nini naelewa when they are trying to do. Yes. Sasa hospitali ile ward niliingizwa kwa ICU. There was a very prominent man mm. in the parliament. Yes. Mimi naingizwa leo na yeye anaaga asubuhi. So the trend of the meningitis mm. the symptoms comes out when you have gone. Oh. So wakati ile jamaa alikufa mm. daktari akasema ah no, the symptoms zinakuja afu sasa wakati ushakufa lakini ukiwa hai inajificha. Mm. So wakati alikufa symptoms zile jamaa zikatoka. So I was told that uh, the doctor said no can't you try meningitis thing. Mm. Meningitis ah, sasa watafute treatment ya meningitis vile wameona hiyo vile ameenda na unajua alikuja pale amekaa only 3 days na ameenda mimi nimekaa kaa some months kutoka mm. molo nimekuja nieleta mm. so the bus are moving so ndio akasema I still some meningitis meningitis treatment so my mom watu wanamchukua alikuwa anakuja naomba 
na kikundi viko na kuji inasaidia mother kuomba pale actually the word turned to be a church just giving my mom hope and everything yes mtu akijaribu kuambia mama yangu amekufa my mom ile nimsaidia because people are telling him mtu alikufa zamani kubali tupeleke mochari mwanzi mama anasema hapana mtu wangu hajakufa so that faith ndio ile nijaribu kuniweka so one day nikatu not to treat me and get me take off Mm. Niko na ile oxygen na kila kitu. So madhia aliona my hand moving kidogo. Mm. Then I pushed. Kama madhia kusema ndio mtu wangu amekufa, amekata roho. <laughs> nas, nas, nas kuja. Jesus. Amefanya nini? Ametoa kuja murudishe. Unajua ile uoga, aelewi. Akamwambia kama ametoa, ni sawa. Atikawa. Mm. Akasa kakuja akaangalia akasema kama ametoa, aturudishi. Acha kai. So that's what ilijua nimeanza ku kurudi mm. but now memory hakuna magi mm. so nikaanza kulishwa na tubes so ili take mbadala ili take that all things ndio ni kuje ni toke back hospital it mm. takes almost two months two months so niki wakati nilikuja wakaona sasa nika discharge and sasa nimerudi mm. but now i don't eat I don't walk, mm. I don't talk, mm. but I'm mm. merudi. Mm. But I, I can move. Mm. Naona? Na, na kuongea mm. nilianza ile story. Si uko na mtoto. Mm. Tata. Ukarudi ma, zero. Ma, ma, zero. Nina kai bila kumbuka kuna da, dadi. Mm. Ikiletoa dadi na endelea kuita tu dadi. Mm. Sasa hata simuoni vizuri. Mm. I don't recognize him. And never recognize. So, so, the word that could just come the one that I could at so still i'm taking with tubes kidogo yeah. kidogo akanitoa kwa tubes kaanza mm. kula mm. kidogo kidogo uji tu na maji na na madawa ni hivi mm. but uh, god alinipigani ukapona kati nilitoka mm. ilirudi ni ile kuongea nikarudi mm. pole pole mm. na ndikarudi ikaanza kutembea ile katikati hali kutembea nilianza ku scroll so my life mm. ile ya chama ama cha baba mtoto mdogo iliendana i don't i cannot recall it today uliereziwa kila kitu so what i from my life started at 13 that that now what i can tell you my life that? yeah nika scroll mm-hmm. kwanza by then nilikuwa na bebangu anapelekwa kiti na nekwa na elewa hapo so wakati ni pole pole nikaanza ndio huyo mimi nika crawl mm. so wakati miguu ilipata pata nguvu kidogo nikapele mm. hospitali fiso tena ikaanza nikapewa mm. chuma zile zenye pole pole sasa yes. nikufundishwa kanyanga hivi kanyanga hivi ya 13 years nikasonga tu pole pole mm. if you can remember i think you are very young mm. i don't know kama hata uko mzaliwa when the bonke came to kenya kuna mtu anataka kunichomea tenzi mtazamaji <laughs> I'm trying because if you can remember when Bonke came to Kenya alikuja na koro. Yes. Sasa by then alinikuta nao sasa Mungu amenifaidia I'm on crutches. Yes. kwa ile machuma ya kusongeza na kanyanga practice. Mm. So katika hali ile nikasikia roho ikaniambia hapa. Nikamwambia eh nikasikia kimeambia mama. Sikia niende kote. Nakaniambia utaweza. Utakanyaga na kote na crutches back kwa hapa mm. nikiana na crutches mm. sitarudi nazo wow. my dad akaniambia unasema nini mm. it was like a kajoke kama mpana mimi nataka kwenda baada akasema kama ana insist acha tuende oh so inabidi muende as a family sasa singeenda peke yangu unajua sasa bado naenda bado nisijapata ile nguvu kabisa mm. so nikaenda pole pole nikakanyanga kaniletea ndudhi nikapanda mm mtu anasema nenda arudi bila crutches tena kwa ndudhi kwa hivyo hakufika na crutches <laughs> but i felt msukumo mm. kaenda tukakaa male remember tulikuwa tumekaa kwa nyasi because ilikuwa imeshona mm. tukakaa ilikuwa imeletwa na happy church yes tukakaa magi wangu mm. kati sasa wagonjwa wanaombewa mimi nimekaa mm. sijui ile imani iliinuka tena aje mm. kati watu wanaombewa mimi mm. nimekaa chini crutches ziko hapa kando. Mm. Kambia mama nishike nisimame. Mm. Ati na crutch a a. Sikia kusimama. Mm. Na hivyo ndio niliacha crutches. Wow. 
That's who God changed the meeting. I kwa ya bonke tena. Karudia Matilda. Ukapona. Kasimama. People screamed. Niko katikati. Tunajua ilo wameombewa wamepando kwa juu. Miujizo nyo nakimbia. Nime pona siju ni mefanya. Nisikuwa. Nikuwa na homa imesikia. But for mine, people who saw me and who knew me, they were like, na nikambia mamu sunishike. Kakanyaka atuwa ya kwanza ya pia. People screamed. Wow. Nika kanyaka pole pole, nika kanyaka pole. Watu wakasama, pana, kuna mujiza pande. Mm. Nika kanyaka pole pole, nika enda pole pole. Nika pele kupaka kwa mababa. Kwa 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 mesho na hivi. Mm. Kukratia vinde watu wa pande, mungine maji. Yes. Mama. I'm giving a true story. It's not some, ato kitaka kuulizia, people will give you. Kwa 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 ni ya niitisha crutches, vilivunjua. Katembea. The moment nilishuka kwele jukua, bonke alataka kusema me the grace. Because sasa ilikuwa ta usuku. The crowd ikakua, yani, it return. Yes. Ni msa nikishuka chini, naambia mamu sasa ataka kuna nyumba, tukungo jia me the grace. Watu baratiyacha me the grace kwa bonke peke yake, nikiena nyumba, nikumati, wote vile yesu walitembea na msafara. Waseme wacha tuone kama atafika mahali ya sikai chini ya seme ya meshibu. Walega na mipaka kwa vitu. My dad saw me because alibaki kwa compound. My dad cried. What am I seeing? What am I seeing? And that's when nandi niliena na nukapona. So, ikafika mahali kanza kudizana ataka kurugi shule. Kwa sababu hii ugonjo ilifanya upanga. Nilika haka nyumbani by the way. Mama kaenda shule kuuliza I was in Mount St. Mary's girls primary. Kaenda kakuta sister junior catholic. Kata tuwezi. Mami unasema aji. Unajua menenga itisi minini. Wacha mtuto wakai nyumbani ya poni. Kana bela nisumbua. Mkubali ata kuje tu atakama atapua kitabu tu achore madhogodhani. Aone tu bora kwa shule. Kwa mbio kwa kama niyo mama umesema nisa. Wacha aji. Kaenda. Mungu wakanitendea. Mungu. Katika kusoma na pewa assignment. Kuna mwenye anaanguka, inapita. Sister kaila kata. Sister kapele kwa yu habari. Sister cried. Alikuwa nituwa nikale kwa yu chumeke. Sister cried. And from there, ndo nika kubaliwa, I can now go on with this. Study, kabisa, kabisa. Nika indelea pole. Pole kafika mahali, nika ambio mama apana. Kutaka kuingia boarding. Chumeka kakata. Kasema apana. Acha tokake nyumbani. Kerudi. So I did my my class eight exam. Nikiwa na my third born. So third born mwe na kuiti ya third born. Eh sasa ni umu second born mwe sasa ni mita second born sahi ya shaenda secondary. Sasa mi niki kalia mtiani wa sec. Eh so mi niki kalia mtiani wa class eight ilifanya na dadamu ituwa doro. Aibu kwa fe. Sasa unajua sasa umerudi kama unge awoni we you are desiring to move on so nikafanya class it na dada yangu mwenye ako third born yes hivyo ndo ulifanya hivyo ndo nilifanya exam na mkasoma wote high school eh high school tukaenda so mimi mahali tena ilinigonga nikiwa form nikiwa sa form 2 tena i think the devil was really fighting your destiny I had I was raped. Mama menda siyo kwenye menda ndio mimi. Oh no. Form mimba form 2. Uka repiwa. Kwambia wazazi what has transpired nobody believes. Oh. Ikaingia tena discrimination, nikaingia rejection mimba. Wakati ulisema umerepiwa. No, can't believe you. Oh, but the person was known afterwards. Mm. And that. Ikakuwa police case. Ikaingia rejection. Ah, ma kuna marinda police. My dad said that he lived it. My mom said that he was a good man. Because from that family also, the family was a good family. He was a good man. 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 Spirits flying. He was a good man. The background of those people. He was a good man. 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 Being a first born, he was a good man. 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 That what happened, it affected also that life. Me, me getting pregnant, mm. it affected the lifestyle of the house. Your family. family. Because 
the father wants to bring ipo. things very well mm. shopping aliapa mm. kazeni ni kukula tu na kubeba mamimba hapa na oh jesus so privilege of nyingi zangu nilikosa oh. so i used to see my siblings vitu zikiwatendekea wewe ukadaki kashukuru mungu ili funga tu nikaambia mungu utakuja tu kwa wakati mm. wako kwa wakati wako i got my child through cs mm. Hapo ndio niliona furaha ya babangu tena. Yeah. When ali, alikuja akakuja akakuta nimebalishwa maongozi sasa ya theater. Mm. Because nilisindikizwa na kazi ni mamangu. Mm. Mamangu alikuwa amenda biashara. Yes. Kwa addiction. Mm. So nilikuwa nakaa na kazi ni ya mamangu. Yes. So wakati nilifikia hivi akanipeleka hospitali. Fika hivi hata sikuwa ilikuwa ikuwa mambo mingi. Mimi niliambua huyu hata kai kwa kitanda, hapo hiyo kitanda Mm-mm. theater direct. Theater direct. So my dad bed sema anakuja kwa mbwa amepata hospitali, alikuja kama wazimu. Mm. Kuja akakuta nimevaa sasa theater hata. Mm. My dad cried. Mm. But sister can nurse in that hospital mm. by then and then retired. Mm. So what she did uh, alipiga simu. Mm. Kule sasa alikuja amekuja amejihami. Mm adanas akasema na zaenda hospitali nikute kuna dawa fulani hakuna alikuwa na chemist mm. so alikuja tayari amejipaa amejihami bad in case of anything Akure. hakuna mambo mm. so niliingizwa nikapata mtoi wangu mm. my dad alikuwa nimepata kijana by the way one named my car wow akaitwa bucha ah yeah nice. so that time nilipatia raha kidogo nikakupatia tumaini hata nikaona na shifiki ya kuniambia ibu ambia mama yako kama anataka kuata shule mm. ambia mama yako Wow. Unajua mtoto msichana kikosa ni mm, wa mama. Mm. I think kuna culture ili mm, African. As, ukiwa mwerevu wa African. Ukiwa <laughs> mjinga mjinga kama mama yako. Eh. So but we are changing that. We are changing in Jesus name. name. Mm. So katika ile hali nikarudi nikapeleka kwa body yes. because kuna wale wao waliongea kijiji tena wengi. Ya mesa ya kwanza. Mm. Ah ya pili itakuja. Mama unapeleka mwana mke shule. Kwa nini kuna pesa ya kuharibu? <laughs> So a lot of things. Tuko simkate, peleka pime mafuti kama ni wangu. Hata mm-hmm. sisi mpeki tu. So nikaangalia wale mama walikuwa wanaambia hivi. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu acha niende boarding school. Ah ah. Mm-hmm. Mama, daddy hake kubali niende day school. Alikuwa ameona sasa vile watu wanaongea e, ya pili itakuja. So nifungiwe huko <laughs> kama zizi. Si uko pia kunao. Eh. Utapata wapi? Mm-hmm. Najua mentality anajua yeah. boarding is safer than. Mm-hmm. So nikarudi nikaenda nikaka. Mungu mm-hmm. anifaidia nikapita. Yes toto na akaendelea kukua ikaenda Mount Kenya University aja kamaliza kwa hizi panda shuka zote bado uliingia university eh guys Mungu aitwe Mungu we are taking a short break sorry ni serious we just have to take a break hata hatujafika mahali mziki iko so don't go no we will be right back sasa ndio leo kwa story of the mm. baby when she makea kwamba nasema kama mtu sio za matunda ukatwe na utupo. Mm. I had my mom tells me that the guka used to say that mm. uh, kwangu akujui kwa na kaburi. Mm. Mtu ambaye uzai matunda sio mm. natupangwa. I don't see anything. Mm. Welcome back guys. Thank you for staying tuned. Thank you for keeping us company. Eh, hey, mtumishi wa Mungu, you've had quite a journey. And you don't look like it. Somebody said we don't look like where we've come from. Wow. And yeah. I'm so happy because of what God is doing in your life. Amen. Uh-huh. Ah. So from I was then Mount Kenya Mount University. Kenya University now. I passed well in Kenya mm-hmm. Mount Kenya University. Yes. I took a course in community health mm-hmm. and HIV management. Eish. And I nilipita vizuri eh the credits one. Wow, from Mount Kenya University because I did a diploma. Uh-huh. Then from there my music of recording started in Mount Kenya University. Music ilianza Mount Kenya. Lakini kwa imagine ni fanya sasa hata wakati ni from that 13. Mm. I loved singing. Ulikuwa unapenda music. And I used to tell myself, mm. Mungu nisaidie. Hata nimetaka kuimba kama Tayani. Mm. But kumbe sikujua yale maneno mm. yalikuwa hakuje ku happen so, mwimbaji mgani ulikuwa unaangalia hivi unatamani so, kuimba kama yeye so we had a kesha mm. tukaliki tukaletoa samson adanje ah adanje adanje wakati alikuja hiyo siku alikuja na bandi ya marehemu jebalonza nice by then alikuwa ameshaga yes 
Nikaimba wiko. Nikaomba nilikuwa na I was a Catholic nika transit nikaingia CU. Mm. Catholic hata tumefanya nyimbo Mount Kenya University hata tumefanya shooting za nyimbo nyingi. Yes. Lakini nikafikia hapana. Nasikia roho yangu inataka. Bado huko complete. So kati nilingia CU. I, they used to love me because mm. the moment na wambia ni presentation mm. when you have something una paka unasukuma karatasi na vitu vyetu so mm, chance ikikuja so them na wao ni kama waligundua what i have yes so hiyo siku night it was a different night for me mm. nikapewa nafasi kwa watu sasa watu na kunywa chai kaka mm. eh kwa hivyo amini amini na wambia ujumbe mpi mm. Bandia je balonza yote ilisimamanga huku mm. adaji na yaka simama huku mm. sita kila mtu akasimama Angela alikuwa had, had that song alikuwa amefai kachini alikuwa mitenzi mm. yeah, alikuwa shaibani yeah. so kati ni kachini adaji mm. alisimama mm. akiona juu mimba nikakumbuka marehemu wow you have an album eh Naandika nga nyimbo. Hapana. How? Ndio ali professor na na kadikre. Wow. By then ndio alikuwa na naye muziki ndio inu. Ndio ameja sasa patikani Kenya amekuwa mm. mtalii. Mm. By then alikuwa na zikongwa na kwanza. Eh. But he had promised me to record for me a free album. Wow. Lakini kama ni promise sijoi andika wimbo my dear. <laughs> Uliambo andike kwa. Na nataka kuimba actually actually if I could sing the song of the balonza. Mm kwa na mwaga moyo wangu wote. Ulikuwa unapenda wimbo gani? Amini amini. Mm. Inua moyo wangu. Mhm. Sasa sasa alikuwa hata ana request ananiambia niimbe ya ingine ya Get the Money. Yesu aliomba. Get the money, Yesu aliomba. Baba mapenzi yako yatimizwe. Mungu kwa ajili yako so, na yangu. So, we could sing alafu tukaenda <laughs> na Nice. Some songs once I realize that when you sing them eh, eh. they are just not just songs. Yes. So ministration. Kwa kufika mali akaniambia atanikilia song at the record. Pia nikapewa vita. Ukatwangwa wo. Aje tena. Gani? Ndio nasema kwa araki ya watu kwa si you yote. Alitangaza. Na you alafu what happened? Mimi najaribu kuconnect na Dante sana nimwambie. Okay, Mungu alinipea uwezo. Mm from there mm. ikitembea kwa corridor za ni kama ni FT1 mm. naenda kama ni pale kwa side za agriculture mm. song inakuja da hai if it me eh hey. mimba nakuta nimeimba tu kiwimbo mm. so in a span of one week mm. i had over 14 song 14 14 song eh yeah. kupenda na kuharibu ama kutengeneza mm. I had to represent Mbili mm. kwa CU. Kwa CU. Hapo ndo shetani alinigonga mambo. Tena alifanya nini this time around? Adanje aliambiwa hmm. mtu alipiga Adanje simu. Yes. Akampea maneno. Mungu. Sijui ilikuwa aje. Mungu. So na mimi ujinga wangu, my innocence and everything. Mimi hmm. nakiona ongea na Adanje mwenye aliniambia nikiwa na nyimbo nimwambie. Yes. Na mpigia simu. Hmm. Adanje amekuwa mkali. Mimi sasa sasa kwa yako. Mungu. I don't want you. Eh. You promised man of God. Mimi nalipia jina. Eh eh. Mimi sitakurekodia na sitaki kusikia na simama kusichukua. Yee. Kama ulisema kwa nini kwa wapi? Kumenda yarudi chini. Shida kwa wapi? Oh no. Ati unasema nataka kukutongoza. Hey. Sorry kali ya Mungu. Ah. Oh no. Na hapo ndio everything of Adanje ilifika forever. Hapo ndio msaada wa mwanadamu ulishia. But you find maybe God alifanya to happen ni kwa Mungu mwenyewe yes, ajitukuze. It was God alitaka kunitoa ujinga fulani. Yes. Kwa sababu Biblia inasema amelaani. Yeye mwanadamu amelaani. So but maybe by then hiyo mm. kitu kuji. Sasa hiyo basi hata uione. Hiyo basi yona. But kali uwezi yona. Hiyo time una curse everybody. Sasa hapo ndio kuja ni fulani. Ni fulani. Unaenda na mkonfront. Alafu na kaka kidogo sio tokio kama friend msikivu anaongea unaona hata anasema sasa ndio anaweza kuwa ni adibema tu unaweza kumkuta namna gani sasa when did you when did you record your first song haikwenda mbali jama fulani atakuja akaniambia hapo tena na yeye anakaa alinicheza fulani lakini Mungu alinipa dakika kicha eh kaniambia 
Matilda. Mm. Sasa mtaja kwa sababu mm. alifanya ile kitu. Ah ah. Mm. Kuna mtu na trend kwa hiyo ndio sasa 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 for security. Mm. Na nikisema Mount Kenya University tulikuwa boom. Kuna mtu kamuli alikuwa wengi. Alikuwa wengi. So and direct destiny yeah. to church. Yes. Bali pia tulikuwa tumerecord choir. Mm. Was also doing the yes. choir. Yes. Nikapata chama mdogo tu. Mm. Akakurekodia. Akakurekodia. Yes. And for the miracle of God, mm. eight songs. Mm. I recorded 8000. So one song. So kila song ilikuwa dhao. Eh, producer, producer ni nani? Naweza mtumia. Hata ndio wash. Naweza mtumia. Sasa ni mchungaji. Uh-huh. Amepewa kanisa na Destiny Church ako na kuru. Oh. Hey, Josh mfanye kazi nzuri 8 songs 8000. Hey, Alivale hey. see. Mm. Hakasi katoka nzuri. Ikatoka smart then. Then. Yo, which year ni... which year was that? 2020 2009. Yeah. Because in the kitoka mke hiyo nilikuwa nimetoka sana my audio to the 10 graduate. Ah. So, mm. kasi katoka nzuri. Mm. Ulifanya so, audios peke yake au kufanya videos? Kufanya video. Yes. Sasa katika kutafuta pesa za video mm. ilikuwa mlema because sasa hii kazi ya uimbaji nimeitwa peke yangu. Eh. Sasa nikirudi kwenda nyumbani hakuna mtu anisupport. Ah ah. Uh-uh. You are on your own. I'm on your own. Mm. Sasa nikipa kuambia tu nimetoa song. Wanashindwa oh. aje. Okay, wanabarikiwa hata unaona watu wana smile nyumbani lakini kuna vile eh. Siku mtume ukasome. Mm. Sasa nikusoma mani. But mm. tunashukuru Mungu because mm. na masomo haikuenda chini. Yes. Na yeye niliwa. Yeah, I made them proud. Mm, proud. So katika ile hali nimemadilisha campus. Mm ndio hiyo mimi sasa najua nilikuwa nimeenda na ile emotion yes. kazi nitapata nile eh. plus ninaimba mm-hmm. so lakini haikuwa vile <laughs> surprise ikaishi hivi kwa dada hivi nikaambiwa hivi mambo ikageuzwa sha but hivi uh, nyimbo nashukuru mm nimepeleka Uganda mm sikuwa oh. audio zikiwa tu audio nimepeleka Tanzania nice Tanzania nimefanya ministry pamoja in one platform na Shusho. Wow. Nimefanya ministry moja na kiatu kivue Anastasia. Si kiatu Rosmwando. Rosmwando. Alikuwa ni Shibedeni Pagala. Mm. Hapo Dodoma. Nice. Tumeni nipeleka Kigoma. Zikiwa tu audio. Audio. Si video si ati wamekuona wakakupenda. Mungu akafanya maajabu. Mm. Whoever could buy this audio. Mm. Mali ukuja kwa nyumba kama ni kwangu mm. usikize hii audio na wewe unasema nisaidie nikafikirie mm. mbele mimi ni bari wewe ukibeba urudishi mm. unaenda unaenda kabisa <laughs> so mimi mali niliinunua na bidi nitafute yule mwimbaji mali nitapata tena ninunue ya pili kwa sababu siwezi kaa bila hizo nyimbo eh maana ni zako na wewe i found people buy my songs mtu mmoja ananunua kama kanda kwa kanda nne tatu anakwambia unijui lingine ichukuliwa na huyu ilichukuliwa na huyu Then kama ndio kuondoa nyimbo zangu kama Mungu alinipatia nyimbo ambazo zimetulia. Zimetulia zina maana. So ila ambao wakati tumetoka hata kazini uh. unapitia mambo yes. so unataka ukae usikivu. Utulie tu. Ukiangalia kama wimbo ambao niliimba niliimba usife moyo. Mm. Kaimbo wimbo nena na moyo wangu. Siwezi lolote katika dunia hii la mm. tu mwenyewe. Mm. Usiwe na shaka. Mm. Kaimbo nyingine inasema umeinuliwa. Mm. Lakini tu kukosa kazi mm. na pesa kufanya mm. video na kuhakikisha hiyo wimbo iende. Yeah. Kuna mtu fulani alifanya piracy wawili. Mm. Saida kuna mtu anambia Matilda kwa jamani lakini kaambia ah siko anafanya kubeba competition ni sawa. kwa sababu ninajielewa kwenye nina. Ni na kama ndio ni vizuri wana kili na waimbe. Mm. Ni sawa. Niko sawa. Victor Mandala nikampata na yeye akaipenda nyimbo fulani akajiza BHB kiasi. Mm. Mm. Lakini because pale pia kuna pesa inatakikana akafungwa mikono ikakuwa yeah. sasa haezi endelea. Uh-huh. So nikaambia Mungu nisaidie. Mm. So katika ile hali najaribu kufanya kazi hapa mm. na pale biashara unatafuta na kosa, kazi mm. nafungulwa kidogo na ninde na fungu inaisha, mm. mtoto ndio pande hii. Kazi kama hali ya kwamba nikaanza kupigwa vita kutoka kwa nyumbani kwetu. Kwenu maana ya muziki. Kazi mm. kwa ni muziki tu. Mm. Ufikiri chochote. And I thank, I thank God because hakuna mtu amenisaidia. Mm kwa Mungu tunaye Mungu mwenyewe amekuwa msaada and uh, katika ile safari ya kuwa mm. rais mm. nimefanya pia kazi ya house guard mm. niliangukia nyumba ya kwanza nilifanya kwa nyumba ya dada yangu huyu mwenye sasa na comments kambo na baadaye alinipiga alifanya madharau na akanitoa nje dada yako mwenyewe eh tumbo moja tumenyonya matiti moja eh akanitoa nje baadaye alikuwa na castles south beach 
So, wakati maid aliona madharau yale maid wake msana kwa kazi. Mm. connect. Mali pengine. Kanaambia msichana, "Kata mimi ni mama na nalea watoto." Mm. Kurudi nyumbani umefanya madharau ya dadako hivi haitoshi. Kazi unatafuta haupati. Mm. Mimi nafanya kazi ya nyumba na nalea. Kutafuta mm. kutafuta mali kwa kazi. Mm. Alikuwa ni 45 na dadangu. Mm. Mm. Lakini mwana, mama mali yako abarikiwe sana. Mungu ambariki. Maana alinitafutia kazi ya 1600. Na yeye analipa 45. Wow. Na huku kuna mtoto na kule hakuna. Ni watoto ni, we, ni wakubwa lakini walikuwa watatu. Mm. So nikafanya kazi pale ambayo sasa sema changamoto zilikuwa pale zilikuwa nyingi pia. Mm. Lakini nikasikia mmoja wakati nikao katika hali ya kufua nguo. Mm. Mfanye msafi walikuwa wameenda wale wakubwa kwa shule mfanye mlaki. Mm. Babake na mtoto mchanga, tuko na kala baba na mama mwenye nyumba alikuwa anafanya kazi kaka mega. Yes. So alikuwa anakuja kwa weekend. Mm. So katika hali nafua nguo nikapata huo wimbo unasema wewe ni Mungu. Afana pomega wanzo tena mwisho utabaki kuwa Mungu. Amen. Na uzuri wa Mungu kunipenda. Ananipatia la maneno. Mm. Stanza. Kila kitu. Wow. Nikaomba huo wimbo. Nikiisha vyombo bado una kuja nikasikia hapa. Mhm. Uh-uh. Kaambia huyu mzee mwenye nyumba. Mhm. Kaambia barusa niende ikesh. Mhm kosa nikamuomba wakati najua mm. shara karibu anilipe. Eh. Shani pa kusende cash. Nataka mm. kuna cash. Kana kila kitu. Kana mkesho kikuta zibuta zendelea na kazi yako. Mm. Kwambia hapa sita sita shindwa. Ndajikaza. Hai Mungu akanita katika limbo ina, ina divine connection. Mm. Iwa kozi wao. Mm. Then ka happen mtoto wa dada wa huyu mzee. Mm. Ni pasta winas chapel. chapel so alikuwa anakuja mm. ilikuwa ya nyumba ya mjalo mm. unajua wajalo vile wanapendana kukuja ni wanajua kile kilikuwa anapika chakula baka unasema <laughs> yes mungu alinipa kibali yes yeah kwa nini alotoki mm but that day I also got nikajua kulikuwa na assignment yes so alikuwa surprised with some demons mm. so prayers na nisikufunga mm ukaendelea kwa pray with them mm nina tunasema ilikuwa na change sana now i'm not a house guard ah uh-uh. ah wewe ni mhuduma. Sasa mimi nakaa mhuduma sana na chini. Unakamata position. Unakuta unaona? Mm. So, alinipa ruhusa. Mm. Ukaenda kesha. Kwenda kesha, mimi si kwenda kesha. Ulienda ku record. Are you sick? Ulienda ku record. Nilienda kuta kosa mchana nilichomokanga nikaenda kutafuta studio. Sasa ulipata studio gani? Studio nilienda umoja. Mm. Nikaenda inaitwa Bonadina. Producer alikuwa anaitwa nani? Sasa producer mwenye sina ngo ya kuba Mm. Mwenye nimefanya na hiyo video jirani msichana kapenda wimbo kazi kebla inaimba. Mm. Na akaniambia bora tu nikubali nimeke kwa video nitakupa mango. Eh. So he gave me all. Akakubalisha hizo ngo zake. Zake. Hapo kiangalia kuna mali kuna video unaona ni kama ikikuja party yangu na hapa tuna kuta ingo ni same. Na leo ile mambo kubadilishana. Yeah. And I thank God. Wow, it has In been a journey. Actually, I cannot regret. Eh, katika ile hali pia, nataka kuongelea kwa mambo ya muziki. Yale nikikupatia challenge za katikati tutaongea kwa hiyo. I know. Nikakuja nikiwa Turkana pia Mungu akanisaidia nikaanika kile wimbo mawazo, hivi unajua ni mawazo tumeimba. Haya mawazo niliyapata nikiwa Turkana kwa jangwa. Nika pamoja tu na Turkana ulienda kufanya nini? Turkana sana Mungu amenifungulia njia. Na ilifunguka namna hii. Mm. Nilirudi Nairobi. Eh. Yeah. By then ifanya mawazo mm. dadangu alikuwa aja kuja Nairobi. Mm. So mimi nilikuwa na kaka wangu. Mm. Yeye akapata kazi na kampuni ya Magic Metro Prestige. Mm. So ametoka nyumbani alikuwa mjamzee mm. sasa katika ile hadi sindi kuna story ile inaendelea. Mm. So mimi mama wangu akakuja katua ishi na akaangalia by then nilikuwa very humble beginning. Ndio mm. nimekuzwa kwa anti yangu ani kuna rejection tu nilifata so walikuta nalala chini 
stove bado ni ile stove hata fina ile ya moshi ile ya moshi ukizima lazima uzimie standard eh mm-hmm. so akakuja akaambia na mwangu hapana tu kazi kwa pande ya bakasi mm-hmm. madaka akamtumia pesa mm-hmm. so tukashift na vitu zangu tukaenda bakasi mhm tuko enda kasi mhm kakuwa kama kupelekana mzuri vizuri so nikahama ukatoka kwa sister yako mhm Mm. So katika ile hali nimeenda kuishi kwa nyumba ya mtu fulani amenyakomodate. Eh, pia madarao tena ni yani nifanyie nikatoka. Mm. On my way to town because I used to come for fellowship. Mm. So ndio niko free mole kwa sasa. Mm. Oi mbaji tuko na kale katabia ukifikia kuna mahali kuna mission conference. Ndio wewe. Ndio uombe kachana. Katika ile hali I met a man mm. that we school together in MKU. Mm. Yeye kwa anafanya analyt call chemistry, mm. yeye kwa anafanya hii community. Mm. Akini nimkuta tu mboe. Mm. Matilda ni wewe. Mm. Unafanya nini? Mm. Ndio ali ni connect. Mm. With a certain man. Mm. Mwenye naye alikuwa watchman Nairobi. Yeye ni host. Akarudi akasoma. Mm. Ndio tulikuwa tukisoma tu kidogo kidogo wewe ni. Eh wewe ni. So akati alirudi kwao mm. akakuwa yeye ndio anasimamia mambo na HIV. Oh. So na mimi nilikuwa na community health na HIV. Hivyo ndio ndio. Hivyo ndio. Nikatuma papers zangu. Kwa sababu mimi nili apply, mm. yale ni apply. Hiyo ndio mlango ulifunguka. Trukana. Mm. So mziki bado tunaendelea na muziki. Trukana unafanya kazi. Trukana ni kwa hospitali mm. naye mziki ukaku. Ukakuja. Mm. Nikakimbia huru ndio nikakuja kwa daji. <laughs> na Elidia. Mm. Daglas. Yes. Nikakuja. Nikarecord mm. so amaliza nikabika kale. Mhm. Nikuja nitafute pesa. Za vide. Sasa baada ya time nafikiria ile kazi itanipatia pesa nifanye vida ika. Mzungu mm. akasema kuna fund zimeisha. Mhm. Karudi na wewe. Ukarudi na kule. Lakini na msukumo wa huduma. Mhm. Tu nyumbani nikifika mbali nikaamua nikaanza kupika ugali. Anako unauza kwa mchango. Kahamri, chapati na beba kutoka nyumbani na pepa sokoni na uza na rudi. Mhm. Nikakuta nimelipa lipa pesa. Kijo. Mhm. Katika ile hali niko na inge nisaidia. Hii mm. pesa inajua nakuta zingine ndio kuchaga itoshi. Yes. Na tokea. Mm. Mm. Mungu akanifungulia mlango. Mm. Kuna wakati tulikuwa college, tunaruka mwaka mm. na kina Emicos Gay walikuja Kenya. Mm. Tuna show ilifanywa pale yeah. showground. Mm. Tulikuwa na kina Solomon kubwa mm. Emicos Gay na Kuru. Ehe. Mm. So kumbe hiyo show Mungu alikuwa atembee. Yes. Hata tulichanguliwa mm. actually niona tulito waimbaji wengi sana mm. tukaitwa mkutano mmoja mm. lakini ile katika ile watu na ile dharau wazini ah waimbaji tunatumika vibaya eh. waimbaji sijui ni so, tukakuta we were just few of us mm. tukaenda kama ni edition kila mtu akaimba mm. mimi nitakuja na watu wow so tulichaguliwa how many people wa three mm. so nilikuwa na watu mm. so this time we kind mm sukumbe so, kumbe katika ile hali ya kwenda katika ile kukula meza na wale waimbaji wakubwa you die you die with the kings mm. tulipewa bahasha wow pesa nzuri mm. hapo ndo nileta nikatoka nikakuja nikasikwa na simu nikanywa kasi <laughs> oli nwa simu nikatoka hapo nikachukua pesa tukao msikizana na royamani mm. nikalipa cash muziki ya video ukafanywa na mawazo Mm. Hapo ndo Mungu alikuja nikafanya video ya mawazo. Nikafanya video. Katika kidogo kidogo nikafanya another duplicate ya video zangu kidogo. Ndio mfanya katika mahali ya stress. Unataka Mungu ndo Mungu alianza kubadilisha maisha yangu pole pole. Na muziki imeenda bali aje mm. kwa media. Kwa sasa, mm. sasa shukuru Mungu kwa sababu. Mm. Okay, marketing mm. ni nasema ninaomba bado Mungu anamfungulia mlango. Yes. Bana nimepata maji. Ni <laughs> ndio manager wangu kwa sasa. Uh, how do I forget? Ndakuwa na edit. Eh. Uzoa. So far mziki kwa aje. Mambo nilipata magi. Mm. Mambo yamekuwa mzuri na mimi nkare. Tunapanda mm. panga vitu azipangiki. Unaenda mitini. Baada ya zinaenda mitini, ndio mm. tunafufuka. Mm. Na mimi nivumilia. <laughs> I think I am so patient. Mm. And I thank God. Samali tuko hapa hivi. Yeah. I think I'm eh unaendelea vizuri mm. i must say you're doing very well sasa kwa sababu nashukuru Mungu maana katika ile kilio na kwamba mimi katika kazi ya Mungu mm. because i can say actually mm. hakuna kitu Mungu alipe basi ukweli lakini nikikukuta uko ulinipata sina kazi na kumbe time Mungu alinibariki sasa nione mali niko sasa hii unafanya kwa sababu at least tumeanza kufanya mambo 
sasa hivi unafanya kwa bank god kuna nafanya record kwa bora nikifika vita nafanya video and i just story ya matilda tunaweza fanya for five days non stop but i want you to look into your camera and encourage ule mwenye anataka ku give up maybe kuna mama ako na mtoto maybe atembei vizuri kuna mama ako na mtoto ako na challenges na maybe anamficha anafikiria hii ni laana speak to that lady speak to that woman maybe that artist who wants to give up mm. and just encourage them okay mm. yeah i'm a living testimony yes as a, as you can see and actually when i look at myself mm. i say actually that god is in heaven is living mm. i want to encourage that mother mm. when you have a time to love them ngalia anaona kana kwamba ni bahati mbaya mungu mm. alikosea mm. mungu akosei nimekuja kukundua katika vile ambavyo kitu ambavyo unaweza kudharau mm. mungu anakuwa ameka dhamani ndani yake mm. so huyo mtoto ama mali ama wewe mwenyewe mali uko na changamoto mm. maybe katika maumbi ile muamini mungu mm. jaribu kujua the purpose of the life mm. mungu alikuleta dunia because kila mtu ana purpose yake yes na ukicha kugundua what is the purpose of you living in this life actually the big purpose is to, to live in god mm. trust in him believe in him and know him ukisha jua haya mambo yote mengine yanasema kwamba yanatileta baadaye mm. so usife moyo mm. mimi nikuja kugundua kwamba ile kanda niliimba ya kwanza si kujua ninaimba nini mm. lakini baadaye nikakuja kugundua kwamba it was ilikuja ku minister for me for the challenges nimepitia so nikakuja nikajuliza nikiambia watu wasife moyo mm. na mimi hapa hivi kuna ina nikuta hapa hivi mm. so ikarudi ku minister to me yes so unaweza kuwa pia unafikiri unasema what can i do mm. for that so that i can meet at this juncture mm. just trust god mm. and god will give you skills god True. will give you knowledge True. god will put something in your heart yes and at the end of the day mungu anakupatianga something that anakupatia with the destiny mm. hata kuacha utaanza mm. kitu lakini baadaye mm. kuna vile anakuwa amekutayarishia watu wapo mbele mimi nikikaa hivi nikisema kwamba endelea kutia maombi mm. waamini Mungu na katika kila hali mm. tazama katika kazi ya msalaba mbele manifika mm. katika kuimbaji penye kila kitu ni pesa mm. lakini usiengage to do this thing with the, with an, with an negative mind. mind. Wengi tumeingia katika hali hii kwa sababu tunasema kwamba ni biashara. Mm. Nikifanya uimbaji nitakuwa mkubwa, nitakuwa na pesa, nitapata yes. kila kitu. Mm. Lakini sometimes it's not like that. Mm. Just go do the ministry of God. Yes. Doing that you are work, you are doing for God. At its sure. own time. Mm. It will flourish. It will blossom. Amen. Because God is faithful. Amen. Na usiingie katika biashara ambazo zitakuja ku ku mix the relationship ya Mungu na wewe mm. because haita ina mbali utasikika leo kesho utaupe so if you want a permanent thing stick to, stick God, to God and do the right thing amen mm. wakikutaka wakutafute wapi facebook facebook ni to matio bocha mm. na youtube matio da bocha instagram instagram matio bocha twitter twitter mati at bocha <laughs> akoma ka twitter we Hebu <laughs> tuma salams kwa watu wa home kabla tu zimiwe uh, hewa. Nataka kutuma salamu katika eh. first and start with my father and mom, mm. Francis and Francis Kamora. Eh. My siblings that I want to tell all of them that I love you very much. Mm. And I thank God and I see God doing a lot of great things to you. Mm. I just want to say also to Souls of Ministry mm. where I go to church. Apostle John mm. alikuwa pastor sasa amekuwa ordain mm. so is Apostle John mm. and the Lord bless you very much for standing with me mm. also i want to go to my spiritual father too mm. ambaye yako pale hivi Romania mm. na kama Mungu akubariki sana mm. ako na world worldwide mm. church mm. na pia marafiki wenzangu ambao umesimama na mi Facebook ata maji kwa hapa hivi natuma salama natakapo kwa hapa nimezipokea haleluya adoro my friend yes. god bless you amen thank you so much for coming it has been nice having you you have a testimony and a half i pray that god will continue to use you may god continue to lift you akubariki akutende wema abariki kijana yako akuwe wa baraka 
Uh, yani Mungu akufute machozi kabisa um, you forget everything that um, you've been done in amen. Jesus name naona hata nyama ameongeza hallelujah <laughs> tunashukuru Mungu <laughs> guys it has been this is the longest music story we've ever had and it has been nice it has been a journey and if you are there and you are planning to give up you don't have a reason to give up you see Matilda was raped when she was young she was sick she lost her memory and everything but see what the lord has done see how far god has brought her so you don't have a reason to give up on god keep on holding to god yani god atakufanyia kikitu mpaka ubakizile za haya god kumbe ulikuwa unanileta this far unibariki i know it's not hard. it's not easy i know what you're going through is may be hard but hold on to jesus my key word is hold on to jesus he will see you through he will bless you you have a baby ulimpata through rape usichukie huyo mtoto penda huyo mtoto ulipata mimba mwanaume akatoroka usichukie huyo mtoto mpende tu maana kesho ujui mtoto atakuwa nani maana kesho i mkononi mwa mungu god bless you god do you good see you again next sunday it has been your girl magi joy blessings i love you with the love of christ for heaven <laughs>